At Rocksteady Boxing in Lawrence, nearly a dozen lace up, tighten their fists, and fight a horrible foe, Parkinson's disease. If you watch any, any boxer that's training for a fight, they train the same exact way. An intense 90 minutes of forced non-contact exercise aimed to delay the disease's debilitating effects with maximum energy, speed, balance, and confidence. I train them just as much as I train my competitors. Although they'll never enter the competitive ring, these boxers train hard. Meet Rocksteady Greg. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2008. A gift of free boxing lessons at a local gym introduced him to Al. Couldn't do one setup after we were done, like what we're doing now. I was in pitiful shape. But he became hooked to boxing and gained more than a trainer, a friend. Greg shared his ambition to expand a program based out of Indiana to the East Coast. The pair gained certification and Rocksteady Boston emerged. Greg says it's certainly been his rock through a tough battle. I was diagnosed when I was 58. When I got to be 60, things weren't getting any better. So I took a stock in my life and said, I got to change something. So I called Colin, Alex, Kalen, and Quinn, because they're my grandchildren. And I'm going to dance to their wedding. It's, it's, a, worthy, it's a worthy cause. And I want to ski again, too. Research shows exercise is a key medicine to this progressive disease. Exercise is becoming, uh, is being recognized as being more and more important in Parkinson. I think most patients are very courageous. Most people just take the bull by the horns and just fight it. That is certainly true for boxers at Rocksteady. Everybody works hard. Nobody's complaining. There's so many excuses that could be used. With Parkinson's, you kind of live in the shadow world. It's, uh, ready? things aren't what it, everything's harder. It's hard to open doors. It's harder to turn stuff off and on. And my legs get, when I get, wake up in the morning, my legs get heavy. You know, I've got to rope until my, until my meds kick in. I get up in the morning and I don't want to come and I get tired and I, I drive, I got to drive to Lawrence. But I know that once I get here, I'll be better off for it. This group of boxers have become a family, one that Greg says means the world. When you're doing those exercises, what's going through your head? I feel normal. I feel good. We don't ever give up. We fight. We fight back. And Parkinson's is our folks.